Back in 1950, John Ford, the famous Western director, directed a Western drama that was called Wagon Master. It was about two young cowhands, played by Ben Johnson and Harry Carey Jr., who join a Mormon wagon train traveling to Utah. That classic became the basis for the long-running TV Western Wagon Train. Wagon Train premiered September 18, 1957 on NBC. The one-hour weekly series was well-produced with exciting stories and a real array of guest stars. The series was set in the post-Civil War West. Each year, the show began in St. Joseph, Missouri, and it followed the wagon train as it headed west towards California. During the course of the season, the travelers would encounter Native Americans, the sheer elements of the Rockies, the prairies, the deserts, and all sorts of obstacles. Each week, the show would kind of concentrate on a different member of the wagon train. Now, veteran character actor Ward Bond, who also had a supporting role in Wagon Master, the John Ford original show, played the dependable trail boss, Seth Adams. Robert Horton was the dashing frontier scout, Flint McCullough. Terry Wilson played the wagon assistant master, Bill Hawks. And Frank McGrath was the old feisty cook, Charlie Wooster. Now, the ratings for the show started off pretty slow. It started out at number 23 in its premiere season, which was surprising considering the late 50s were the golden age of westerns. But by the second season, Wagon Train began to roll and streaked up to number two. It became the number one show during the 1961-62 season. Shortly after that, the ratings began to drop. Ward Bond had actually died during the production of the 1960-61 season, and John McIntyre was brought in as the new Wagon Master. Horton left the series in 1962. Scott Miller joined the cast as the scout Duke Shannon in 1961. Robert Fuller came aboard in 1963 as young scout Cooper Smith. The series moved from NBC to ABC in September of 1962. And in the fall of 1963, ABC actually expanded it to 90 minutes. That's a long time for a a weekly show. The change didn't bring any new viewers, and the series reverted back to an hour in its last season of 1964. Wagon Train came to the end of the trail in September of 1965. In Wagon Train's premiere episode, 1950s television aficionados might recognize Michael Winkleman. He was a young actor that plays Ben Palmer. He's a boy that's traveling with his family in the Wagon Train. He was also a quick-moving child star that landed a regular role as Little Luke in the sitcom The Real McCoys. The Real McCoys ran for six years, but the youngster found roles drying up for him as he aged. He ended up joining the Navy, and he served in Vietnam. After the war, he became a groundskeeper on the Universal production lot. Now, Universal Television happened to be the studio that produced Wagon Train. So he went from being in the show to actually mowing the grass there. It just shows how Hollywood sometimes chews up and spits out these child actors like it was nothing. Now, Ward Bond actually had a pretty filthy mouth, and he wasn't scared to use it. He did a lot of cursing. It caused him some problems on the set, though. When he was around the child actors, some of the welfare workers that are responsible for the well-being of the children on the set during filming made a statement to the directors and Ward Bond himself that they would pull the children off the show if he didn't change the way he talked. He was a kind-hearted man. He just loved to cuss. Now, Ward Bond was a veteran Western actor with dozens of cowboy films that were under his belt, dating back to the early 30s. 
Over those decades of work, he grew really close to some of the fellow movie regulars that he worked with. When Bond signed his contract to headline as Major Seth Adams, he insisted that the producers hire some of his buddies, like show regulars Frank McGrath and Terry Wilson. The only problem was they didn't know how to act. They had basically just been stuntmen, and they had very little experience in acting itself. Ward Bond actually worked with them himself to make them better actors. Now, those two actors of McGrath and Wilson were the only two cast members to appear throughout the entire series. As we said before, Bond had died in 1960 during season four of Wagon Train, and he was replaced by John McIntyre. Robert Horton, who played the scout Flint McCullough, left after season five. Now, actors John Wayne and Ward Bond who plays the lead in Wagon Train, were great friends for more than 30 years. Both of them played football at the University of Southern California, and both of them got their showbiz start in 1929 in the film Salute. They appeared in 23 films together. Many of them were westerns directed by John Ford. But their friendship takes on a totally different bond. When during a hunting trip in the 1950s, John Wayne accidentally shot Mr. Bond in the butt with one of Bond's own shotguns. Bond wasn't actually badly hurt, and the two joked about it for years. And when Bond died in 1960, he actually willed the weapon to John Wayne, and he cherished that item until his death. What a great story this is about their continuing relationship and their love for each other. Thanks for rolling into our lives on September 18th, 1957, Wagon Train. You gave us tons of enjoyment and kept us glued to our TVs. Thank you so much for watching and we'll continue to chase the classics.